Well, just days after students went back to class after a teacher was assaulted, we're following breaking news from Oliver Citywide Academy. Several police units were called to the schools today. Two officers there were hurt. Jessica Gway joins us live now. Just what happened? Now we're told that the two officers were injured while trying to break up the fight, which was between six students. A Pittsburgh Public Schools spokesperson just told me there were no weapons and they have no reports of any student injuries. They said the fight started in a classroom here at Oliver Citywide Academy and spilled into a hallway, then outside, and multiple other students followed. Students just returned to their classrooms on Monday. They learned remotely after a teacher was allegedly assaulted inside a classroom by a 15-year-old student two weeks ago. That student is now facing charges. The school increased safety efforts by adding an extra security guard in the building and two-way radios in all classrooms. A statement from PPS about the fight today says in part, city police were called to assist. Two school police officers will go to, to Concentra, which is an urgent care company, to be examined for injuries they receive while trying to stop the altercation. Students will receive disciplinary action based on the student code of conduct and their ind individualized education plan. Now I did also just receive a statement from Mayor Ed Ganey's office. They said they could not comment on this specific incident, but shared incidents like this are one of the reasons why we have been working to build strong connections with Pittsburgh Public Schools in order to create new opportunities for our youth. And just this week, the mayor actually announced a 15 week youth civic leadership academy, and the city also has a work development program with PPS. We're working to learn more information about the altercation that happened here at Oliver, so make sure you stay with us throughout tonight. Live in Marshall Shadeland, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.